This is Themes, class. Before we begin, let's discuss what class means and look at why it is relevant. The class system is the division of people based on their economic and social status. This means the splitting of people by how much money they or their family has and the kinds of people they interact with. In Britain, the class system is most easily split three ways, upper class, middle class and working class, but there are subsets of these. At the time an inspector calls is set, one's class was largely determined by one's family. If you were born into a middle class family, for example, most probably you would remain middle class your entire life. It was rare but possible to move up the social ladder if, for example, you started a successful business and came into money. J.B. Priestley thought class was a damaging idea and led to the mistreatment of the lower classes. To Priestley, if people are given more wealth and power, they will nearly always use it wrongly and fail to take on any social responsibility. Let's have a look at the classes of our characters. At the bottom of the social ladder, we have our two working class characters, Eva and Edna. Because they are at the bottom of the ladder, they enjoy fewer luxuries and are treated poorly in comparison to the other characters. In the middle of the ladder is Arthur. He could be described as middle class. He has had a successful business, but his wife is his social superior. Sybil is upper middle class and certainly knows it. She strives to maintain and improve her family's social status every day. Sheila and Eric sit in between their parents at a very privileged position. Finally, Gerald is upper class. While some of his actions are wrong, he knows how to behave and what he can get away with. Notice that the inspector does not feature on our ladder. While a police inspector would generally be considered middle class, Inspector Gould would probably prefer to be excluded from matters of class altogether. Let's look at how the theme of class relates to Arthur Burling. Just after the inspector's entrance in Act 1, Arthur says, I was an alderman for years and Lord Mayor two years ago, and I'm still on the bench, so I know the Brumley police officers pretty well. This is an important quote because Arthur is trying to use his social class to get the inspector's favour. Arthur seems to believe that showing off about having positions of authority will prove he is of a high class and therefore encourage the inspector to leave the family alone. This suggests he has done this before, giving us a good example of class privilege. This means using one's social class to one's advantage, where a working class person couldn't. However, the inspector remains unmoved by his attempts to impress, probably because this is the very reason he wants to teach the family a lesson. Sybil Burling is the most obviously classist character on stage. This means she sees working class people as below her in every way and feels no guilt in treating them badly. She is the chair of a women's charity, but this is only because it brings with it class status. She feels she is in a position to judge those in the lower classes and give or take away life-saving help based on her own prejudices. Of Eva, she says, as if a girl of that sort would refuse any money. She is referring to Eva, who claimed not to be receiving help from the father of her child because she couldn't take the money. To Sybil, working class people would take anything they can get regardless of whether they are stealing or breaking the law. However, the fact that Eva did not steal the money shows us that Sybil's ideas about working class people are wrong. Sybil is a perfect example of the idea that class breeds corruption. This means that the class system encourages people to act unfairly towards each other. She has been given an opportunity to help those in need, but instead she uses it to cast judgement on them and exercise her power. Because of her class, she behaves in a morally corrupt way, showing us how damaging Priestley thinks class is. As the only upper-class character, Gerald's social status is significant to the meaning of the play. Near the beginning, Arthur says to Gerald, I have an idea that your mother, Lady Croft, while she doesn't object to my girl, feels like you might have done better for yourself socially. This is important as it links nicely to context. In being engaged to Sheila, Gerald is planning to marry below his social class. As we can see from the quote, perhaps his mother is unimpressed with this arrangement as it may damage her family's social status. Arthur, however, is delighted that his family will move up the social ladder and wants to use the marriage as a business opportunity. 
As Gerald's father owns a rival business, he spends the first few minutes of the play attempting to impress Gerald and convince him of the Burling's own social status in order that he goes through with the marriage. The younger characters, though also privileged in terms of their class, give us an example of a different way middle and upper class people can look at the working classes. While Eric and Sheila are born into privilege, by the end of the play it seems as if they are more aware of the struggles of the working class and more prepared to help them rather than worsen their lot. For Priestley, the younger characters represent a future in which the class system is no longer relevant or useful to society. Sheila and Eric feel compassion for Eva and see her as a human, setting them apart from their parents. This links to AO3, where you get marks for tying context into a play's characters and themes. Priestley wrote the play 30 years after it was set, in a society far less concerned with class due to the world wars. Because of the severity of the wars, they acted as a sort of leveller, meaning that people began to see each other in a more equal, more human way. Priestley uses the younger characters to give the audience hope for the future. If we are looking at class in the play, it is very important to look at the portrayal of the working class characters. The only working class character on stage during the play is the family's maid, Edna. She goes largely unnoticed, has very few lines of dialogue, yet she serves the Burlings throughout. While Arthur addresses her by her Christian name, Edna, she refers to Arthur as Sir. This is because of their classes and her position as a servant. The arrangement is naturally unequal. However, the most prominent and important working class character in the play is Eva Smith. She is a symbol for the working classes as a whole. The miseries she experiences are examples of common experiences for the working classes, meaning that what happened to her was not unusual or remarkable. For J.B. Priestley, the mistreatment of the working classes is the main reason the class system is harmful. He wanted his audience to recognise this through these characters and what they have to experience. Remember, exam questions often ask you to discuss the presentation of a certain theme throughout the play, so take notes. Class. A system of splitting up the population based on their economic and social position. Split into upper, middle and working classes. Arthur and Sybil seek to improve their social position and use it to exploit others. Gerald has the highest social status of all the characters. Eric and Sheila represent a future in which class is less important and Edna and Eva are working class and stand as examples for those who are treated badly.